Hi friend, in my last video we have seen like how to create a record in salesforce.com using MuleSoft Salesforce Connector. Okay, okay. and in this uh, session we will going to see like uh, how to query a Salesforce using MuleSoft Salesforce Connector. Okay, so we will going to see that uh, we will directly start with the demo. Uh, let me start uh, the demo. So first thing what we have to what we will require like uh, we will require the security token so you have to go to my settings let's wait uh, something is gone wrong uh, there is problem connection let me check my connection let's wait So you have to go to personal and the personal you have to go to reset my security token once you click on reset it will send a security token on your email okay so and what we will going to face today we will see that also uh, we go, have to go to the account view let's click on this we have to go to accounts and go okay so we will going to search this data let, let me start with project directly file new i'm sorry file new new project i will say sdfc theory app i will say finish So I will simply drag and drop HTTP listener into the canvas. Okay, I will go into configure it. I will keep everything as a default. I will click twice on the add button, then I will keep everything as a default. I will say SDFC. I will say allowed matter equals to post. I will say get because I will have to read private data. Another thing like we are expecting on query parameter, we will store that query parameter into flow and we will use that query parameter into the filter of the Salesforce query so that filter will be the account that query parameter will be the account name so we will going to paste the data depending on the account name so let me drag and drop the variable into the processor region I will say set variable I will say name equals name I will say message dot I will read the name from inbound properties and I will say dot HTTP query params dot name. Okay, so this we have read. Uh, we are storing our query parameter. Then I will going to drag and drop uh, Salesforce connector. I will going to configure Salesforce connector. First thing we will set the endpoint or connector configuration. I will use simple basic authentication. I will say OK. I want username. I will going to give the Salesforce account detail here. OK, we will require security token. Let me copy the security token from my email. I have this is my security token. Okay, I will paste it. I will say validate configuration. Okay, test connection successful. Let's say okay. The next thing we will going to select the operation. In this case, we will going to select query operation. Okay, so it will open the query builder for you. Click on the query builder. So we will going to work on the account object. Okay. So we will select what are the fields required. Okay. So I will say postal code, billing state, straight, uh, no latitude, no longitude, country, city, and finally I will say account name. Account name. I will add filter. We have to filter on the basis of account name. So I will say name. I will say equal to. I will say 
as flow var dot name okay i will say okay this is our query okay and next thing like whatever result we are getting from cisco it's a form in the iterator so we will have to convert that into a list so i will use set payload i will convert that set payload into the list i have this command here you can check that so i am converting whatever result coming back from salesforce into list okay so what i will do i will start the application yes i will set the sdfc i will use the post get method let application get deployed okay the application is being deployed i will say send Okay, we got a result, but that is not in the proper format. See, we got a result in the form of the collection object. This is okay. So we have to convert that object into either XML or either JSON. So we have a transformer object to JSON. So I will drag and drop object to JSON after payload. I will save it again. Let's check. Application started. I will say send. This time we got a result in proper format. See, uh, what is billing? Uh, India, Mumbai. We can verify same thing in the sales course. I will go to J. See, general Mumbai 40710 India Pacific Street. So whatever. See, we got that result back. Okay. Now we will see the like operation also. This is Salesforce. I will go to Query Builder. Instead of equal to, I will use like. Okay. So let me check. I will use. Okay. So I will save it. Go to console. Let's check. Okay. So instead of gender, I will use bond. I will send it. Okay, there is no result. Okay, let me have done some mistake here. We have to put some percentage at start and end. I will put some percentage. See, we got the result back. See, okay. James Bond, this bond, you can verify that also into the Salesforce. See, James Bond, this bond. We will go to, we are going to get a more result. There is a no result here. Let me put some other filter. We have some related to oil account. Let me find if there is any oil account. No, there is a no oil account. Okay. So, let me check with university okay these are all related to university we got the record okay this is how you can query your salesforce okay uh, using mulesoft salesforce connector thanks for watching video hope you enjoy